Hi guys, welcome to my live stream. I'll be right back, please. Thank you.
Welcome to my live stream. Today I'll be making ciabatta. Uh, it's called ciabatta bread. And um, ciabatta was created by an Italian baker in 1982. So um, today I'll be uh, making uh, ciabatta bread. The one I'll be making is the one with the whole wheat ciabatta or it could be called whole meal ciabatta so uh, we all know the normal ciabatta bread the white the one with the white plain flour i will making that one and we're making the comparison we're going to compare which one uh, looks better but i believe they're gonna look better, both of them are gonna look good. So we just wanna look, uh, we're gonna check color, texture, and you know, uh, ciabatta, or ciabatta, depends on how you pronounce it. Ciabatta or ciabatta uh, is unique for its aviola holes. If you check ciabatta bread, baguette, they always have holes in them. So if you don't know how to do it very well, you're not gonna get the holes right in the in the bread. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I'll be showing you how to make ciabatta bread from start to finish. And when you're making ciabatta bread, uh, you see uh, you don't need to knead. You don't need to knead. It's, it's a no knead bread. So there's a, there's a technique I use in doing it. So it's a no knead bread. And of course, we need to be careful when we're making ciabatta because if, if you don't do it very well, you're not going to get, you know what I mean, like the crunchiness and the aviola holes may not be there. So uh, let's get started. So are we, are we making the one with the white plain flour and the one with the whole wheat flour? So uh, <laughs> I got a message from the, uh, the printers saying, uh, the tasty cooking class. So uh, this is nice. So uh, you can check out the China as well. Uh, now, thanks for that. So now I'll I'll be um, I'll get started now. Let me get started. So I'll weigh my ingredients. So basically, I'll tell you the the recipes now. What I'll be doing? I'll be using Basically, I'll be using 500 grams of white flour, the plain white flour, and I'll be using uh, 500 grams of the whole meal flour. So, for I'll uh, use whole whole meal flour for the whole meal ciabatta bread. I'll be using 500 grams, and um, for the uh, the the other one I will use in uh, 500 as well. So our ingredients are 500 grams of uh, whole meal flour. Or let me start with the normal one, the normal chia butter bread. I want to start with the normal chia butter bread. For the normal chia butter bread, we need um we need 500 grams of white plain flour we need 
uh, half tablespoon of yeast as well as a uh, half tablespoon of sea salt. I will also be using uh, 40 ml or 40 milliliters or 40 grams of olive oil. I'll be adding a little bit of a little bit of, uh, of sugar, one teaspoon, and um, of course we need warm water. I need 370 ml or 370 milliliters of warm water. So I will get my ingredients now and get started right away. So I'll be right back. Just a second, please. Thank you. All right, thank you guys for your patience. <laughs> so uh, I'll be getting my ingredients now. I will grab my ingredients. I need olive oil. That's my olive oil for sure. I need olive oil. I need sea salt. That's my sea salt. Um, I need whole wheat flour, or it's called whole meal flour, whole wheat flour, or whole wheat flour, plain white flour, I'll be using cane sugar, and um, Um, I need warm water as well, so uh, I'll grab my saucepan. So I'm gonna put some water in my saucepan now. So I'll pop that on the hob. So I'll allow that to boil away. While that is boiling away, I will measure, I weigh my ingredient now. <laughs> yeah, my J cloth is falling on the floor. Uh, you know, 
I always stay clean in the kitchen, so I need to clean my work, my work top or work surface. Uh, let me clean the work top now. sanitize your work surface yeah. so my work surface is very clean now so I'm gonna get started now Thank you guys for your patience. So if you are just joining this live stream, uh, this is Cook with Chef Francis. Cook with Chef Francis. C double O K W I T H C H E F and Francis F R O A N C I S. So this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube, making it for real on YouTube, making cooking videos, you know, this is a live, this is a full vlog as well in the cooking channel, you know, live on YouTube. And I said today I will make chia butter, or chia butter bread. And chia butter bread is an Italian bread, as I said before, from Italy. It was made in 1982 by an Italian chef in 1982. And it is widely eaten all over the world, and everyone loves chia butter bread. Of course, I make it, but when I go to the store, I always buy chia butter. I love the bread. I love the unique aviola holes in chia butter. You know, chia butter has a unique aviola hole. So the unique aviola hole in Chabata is unique. So when you see that hole, you know it's Chabata. If you don't see the hole, it's not Chabata. Of course, if you're a real baker and you know how to bake Chabata bread, you're going to see the aviola holes. But if you don't see the aviola holes there, like, you know what I mean? Like if you're making normal bread, <laughs> normal, the normal uh, white bread or, very, or whatever, or like banana bread or whatever, you don't see holes in there, isn't it? But when you're making baguette, French baguette, Chia butter or artisan bread, you're gonna see the alveolar holes in there. That shows it involves a different kneading technique. My water is ready. I'm gonna prove that soon. It's warm enough. That's warm enough. I'm gonna probe it with my, with my thermometer. I have a probe by using probing. So, uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it has a unique aviola hole. And if you, if, if for example, the hole is not there, then you know something is wrong with the thread. So there's there's a technique I use in kneading. It's not kneading anyway, but it's, it's no kneading, but it's, there's a technique I use in doing it. So it's, it's, it's even easier to make chabata than making uh, the normal white bread. That one could be a little bit difficult, but ciabatta is very easy. Just follow the uh, techniques and all that, and it's going to be easy to, you know, you know what I mean, to, to make. So let's get started now. So uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be making the white and the, and the brown one as well. I'm making the, the, the brown one, which is the wholemeal ciabatta bread for those who prefer... Uh, you know, real wheat bread, uh, real wheat, like, you know, the brown one, the brown wheat, that one, you know, most people prefer this, and of course, when they go out there to the store, they get brown bread, so I was making that one, I, as well, I'll be making the, uh, the white one as well, so you're going to see at the end, white, you know, as I said, 
white plain flour ciabatta bread versus the wholemeal ciabatta bread. So I'm, go I'm gonna weigh my ingredient now. I don't want to rush because this is a cooking class. You know, when you're making a cooking class or a cooking video, you don't rush. You want you wanna teach people. You wanna you wanna teach them how, how to make it, and you you wanna make it you know step by step from start to finish. You don't wanna rush, isn't it? Because if I rush it, if I was making an upload of five minutes, for example. That's not a cooking class because one might not understand. Of course, when someone goes to school to learn catering or culinary or whatever, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you, you got like three fires, you, you have a long class, three hours, four hours, five hours, you get in the taught in the class through hands on, you know, it's hands on, and uh, you know. The curriculum of hands on and interactive classes, so you ask questions as well. So, you know, you, you can leave a chat, can, you can leave your questions right there. So, uh, you can leave a comment and all that. So, now I'm gonna just get started now, right away, right away. So, now I need my scale, of course. When, you, when you're cooking, you need a scale because you scale, you know. You need a scale to measure the way, the way actually you need a tape to measure as well. So we can use a tape, but we don't need a tape for today, but I just need my scale. So before I do that, I'm going to welcome my friends from all over the world. My friends, they watch me from all over the world. I'm going to measure the countries, so many countries. I'm going to start with the UK. I live in the UK, so they watch my videos in the UK. 12 years are from the UK, Nigeria, the US, Canada, Netherlands, Romania, Philippines, uh, Japan, Belgium, Turkey, you know, all over the world. You watch my videos, France, Ireland, <laughs> Germany, you know, India. So they watch my videos all over the world. So, uh, so well, now I'm going to start, but I just welcome my friends from all over the world. So even from the Caribbean, they watch my videos as well. From Africa, Asia, America, Europe, all over the world. So um, now I'm going to start. I'm gonna start to weigh my ingredients, my recipes. I'm gonna grab my uh, my scale now to weigh my ingredients, and we got we get started straight away. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing both at the same time. So I'll be doing the wheat one and the normal one. So I will weigh my ingredient now. I'm gonna grab two bowls. It doesn't really matter what bowls you use, whether it's the plastic one or the steel blow, steel bowl, whatever. I'll be using the uh, I'll be using the plastic bowl now. Two identical bowls. Uh, that one, that one. So on this one, I'll be weighing my uh, flour, uh, the white plain flour, on that one. Just a second, please, I'll be right back.
So my friends, I'm back now. Uh, you can see. So I'm gonna tar that. I'm gonna put. Sometimes it takes time to get to tar. Now it's, it's at now zero grams. So I'm gonna weigh the uh, the wheat flour. I'm gonna weigh. Yeah, that's 500. That's too much. I'm going to take some out. I'm going to use them for kneading. So that's for the wheat flour. I've measured, I've weighed that one. I set that aside. Then I'll, I'll weigh my uh, white plain flour. So we only we only need our scale to weigh our flour. We don't need the scale for anything. So I'll put my scale away. I don't need it. So I'll put that away straight in the cupboard. So now uh, I put I put my scale away and I got uh, the white flour. 500 grams of white flour and I got uh, 500 grams of the wheat flour so I have I got the wheat flour I got the plain flour so wheat flour versus white flour <laughs> like a competition isn't it so now I'm gonna start now so uh, what do I do first so I've weighed this one so I can pop them somewhere else. You know what I mean? Because I want to make my yeast and my warm water. You know, I need to ferment the yeast. You know, fermentation has to, um, you know, have to, you know, you know, have to take place while you're making the yeast. You want it to ferment and grow. So I'll be doing that on a big bowl. So I'll pop my flour in a smaller bowl. So let me check my, um, yeah, my warm water is ready. The warm water is ready, nice and warm. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my uh, brown flour, the wheat flour here. Yeah. That's for wheat flour and. Uh, Yeah, that one is for the white flour, so I'll pop the white one here. We didn't both at the same time. Yeah, that's it. Nice one. So that's the white flour. So now, uh, let me clear my mess. Put that one there. So uh, now I got my uh, I got my white plain flour here, and I got my brown flour. So let's get started, my friends. Uh, I'm gonna start with the uh, with the uh, white flour. So I need a, 
I need half tablespoon of yeast. Just half tablespoon of yeast I need. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, measure that one now. So um, basically what I need is to check my warm water, you know, I used to say warm water, if you want to know if your warm water is alright, this is not really warm, it's, it's cooking, you know, it's boiling away, it's very hot, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, mix that one with um, the normal water, the cold water. So uh, I could still need my... I need my scale. Yeah, I need my scale. Uh, I need my scale. So um, I'm gonna. Check if it's warm now. So, so I could uh, I can check that with my uh, with my thermometer. I can check that. I can probe it and see if it's at thirty two or is it warm. Of course, if it gets to 60, 80, 100, 40, you know it's very hot, isn't it? But this is at. 33 or 35 something. so um, you can leave yours up you know pull down back that's my probe so i probe that i check the temperature and it's around 33 so uh, that's warm now you can put your hand there it's warm it's not hot so i'll pop that i'm gonna i'm gonna weigh because i need 370 mils so yeah that's too much so now i'm gonna pop that one in then I'll quickly add my yeast. I'm making the white one now. So I'll pop my yeast straight in. I need half tablespoon, so I'll pop that in. Keep stirring. And you want the yeast to, to activate, so. You don't want too much yeast. You just need half tablespoon. So that half tablespoon of yeast, so Keep stirring. Now, I'll grab a little flour. I'm using the white flour, so a little flour, about 100 grams. I'll pop that in and keep the rest flour. I'll set that one aside. Keep stirring. Now for the other one, the, for the brown flour, sorry, sorry about that. For the brown, brown flour now, I'll, I'm going to weigh, uh, I'm going to weigh 
my one motor as well 370 so uh I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna add my yeast, half tablespoon of yeast. Add some flour. I'll set that one aside. I'll go back to my white flour. So for the white flour now, we're making the white flour now. So uh, we add more flour. Keep doing that quickly. Keep stirring. Then I will add olive oil. I need 40 ml of olive oil. Yeah, that's enough. More white flour. Keep stirring. white flour now I'm gonna add salt I need half tablespoon of salt so I'll put the sea salt straight in there then I'm gonna add just uh, a little sugar, like half teaspoon of sugar, straight in there. Yeah, pick that one. Set that aside. Quickly stir. Add my remaining flour. Put that one away. So uh, I'm done with the white flour, so I'll set that one aside. I'll be back for the white flour. Let's set that aside. I'll be back to check that one. Now I'll be working on the on the brown flour now. Now I'll add more wheat flour. More wheat flour. Now uh, we add olive oil, 40 ml of olive oil. Straight in there. Keep stirring. More flour. Now I'll add my salt, half tablespoon. Straight in there. I'll add sugar straight in there. Sugar, half teaspoon, straight in there. Keep stirring. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I just need a little bit of uh, warm water. On that one. Just a little bit. That's enough. I'm using a stick, a wooden spoon. You can see that's it. Now, I want to say something now. If you see, you can check this out. This is the wheat flour, the brown one. So uh, what's in here, we got uh, warm water. We got uh, 370 milliliters of warm water right in here. And I added half tablespoon of dry yeast and I mix it up to ferment you get some bubbles and after that I added a little bit of flour I'm using 500 grams of wheat flour but I added 100 grams first keep stirring and keep adding a little bit of the flour keep stirring then what next what else did I do I added 40 milliliters of olive oil mix it added half tablespoon of sea salt, mixed it. And lastly, I add sugar, um, half teaspoon, and I keep stirring. And what, what else did I do? I added remaining flour, keep stirring, until I got this consistency. So I'll set that aside and show you for the white flour as well. I'll set that aside, get my spatula now. So that's my spatula. So I could just add some a little bit of olive oil again to give it that shiny effect, you know, Jabata loves olive oil. So we just mix it a little. That's, that's right. Because I'm going to be stretching it. So it's a stretch. Just put a little bit of water. Because I'm going to be stretching my dough. So I need it. Nice and soft, not hard, nice and soft. Yeah, that's all right. I'll put that aside. Now, This is the white one. So uh, for the white one, it's the same thing I did. What I did for the white one, same thing. I added 370 ml of milliliters of warm water. Added um, half a tablespoon of yeast. Mix everything together. What else did I do? Um, 
I uh, added about 100 grams of white flour, straight in there, keep mixing, and uh, I topped with uh, more flour. I added olive oil, 40 minutes, keep mixing, and I added uh, half the tablespoon of sea salt, keep mixing, and then I added, I don't know, what else did I add? Sugar, half teaspoon, keep mixing. Can you see that lovely dough, isn't it? Then I'm going to mix it again. Yeah, that's it, right? That's it, no? Yeah, that's what I want. Now, uh, I should not. This is a no need of uh, chia butter bread, so I'm gonna add olive oil on my work top, my work surface. So I'm gonna my dough here you can see my dough is not hard it's nice and soft a little bit sticky but not very sticky you know what I mean like So I'll use my, uh, I'll do it that way with my spatula. You know, chia butter, you don't, you don't want it very hard. If your dough is hard like a bread dough, you're not gonna get the abula holes. So what I'm doing now, I'm using, olive oil with a spatula to do it. Can you see that? And you can see sticky, nice and soft, but not not very sticky and not very hard. So it's like a no need. I'm not kneading it with my hand. You can see it's a no need bread. You don't need to knead it. So now I'm using my spatula. It's a no need bread. So you don't need to knead it, you don't need to. So now, I'm gonna oil this same bowl with olive oil. With olive oil, and I'm gonna pop that in. Now, I'm going to show you something now. Can you see that we don't need to butter. So look at the dough. It's like it's moving. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not very hard. It's nice and soft. Nice and soft and not sticky. So I'll cover that with a clean film. Uh, what's my clean film? Okay, that one. So that's my clean film. I will. Uh, Put that straight in the one place. 
straight in the one place for 30 minutes flour so I'm gonna oil my uh, work surface again and for the wet one that's it so we don't need so same thing But for this one, we need to put uh, a little warm water because it looks a little bit um, hard. Because you don't want it hard, you want it nice and soft, isn't it? Nice and soft. That's all right now. Nice and soft. Hold that one there, nice and soft and not hard. Yeah. Yeah, nice and soft now. So, uh, yeah, that's what I want. Same way I did the white one, I'll keep kneading. Uh, sorry about that, I'm not kneading, like just moving apart. We don't need our chiavata. It's a no need braid, so just moving with the spatula on the olive oil. Just move it together. So uh, that should be. I should be ready, so I'll pop my olive oil straight in the same bowl. I oil my bowl with olive oil. Can you see that? Put that straight in the bowl. Now. I'll pop that one in the open in the uh, one place. I'll clean thing and pop it in the one place. So we got we got it soft. We got it soft though now. So I'm gonna clean thing. I'm gonna clean thing my um, my wheat dough and uh, put it straight in the one place straight in the one place so i'll pop that in the one place now in the oven oh, that's it <laughs> now i'm gonna clean my work surface Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm cleaning my work surface. I want it very clean. Nice and clean. Always nice and clean. Yeah. All my friends, I see I've done the first stage, the first stage, what we need. Um, actually, what I what did I do now? Um, uh, I made my my Jabata dough. I made uh, uh, the uh, wheat Jabata and uh, the normal one, that's the normal white ciabatta bread we're making it brown versus the white but let me see the wheat one the brown wheat one and the normal plain white flour so um, as i said before ciabatta is an italian bread from italy it was created by an italian in 1982 so um, basically uh, it's a very nice bread so basically what we're going to be doing is to to, to check the difference between the brown one and, and uh, the white one and the uh, the ciabatta is known for its alveolar holes is unique with this holes right in there so how do, how do we make that hole is not really a magic ball there's a technique to get that hole because if you make your ciabatta like your normal bread <laughs> you're not gonna get the holes so I'm gonna show you how to get that hose so just a second, I'll be right back. Thank you. 
I want to put some things away. I've been putting this away. I don't need my scale. I put my scale away. I don't need my sugar. I put my brown sugar away. I don't need my sea salt. I put that away. Don't need this. I put that away. I need my flour, I can keep that. I need my olive oil, I can keep that. Um, I need a timer. So, um, so we got like, um, uh, you know, I need 30 minutes, but I think it's, uh, it's already like 5 minutes now. So I'm going to give it like 25 minutes instead of 30 minutes. So, uh, So I'll check my dough in 25 minutes. It was supposed to allow you to cook for at least 30 minutes, but it's already um, 25 minutes now. Uh, five minutes already. So I'll give it um, 25 minutes. So now, basically, what I'm going to be doing, I'll be waiting for my dough to double in size. So uh, and I, when it's doubling size, I'll show you techniques on how to get the holes, the alveolar holes in the ciabatta bread. Because everyone loves ciabatta bread. You know, I said it's like a food below. <laughs> Everyone loves their butter bread. So when you go out there to the store, what do you see? You see the aviola holes in the bread and you love it. And you wonder how how do how do they get the holes like you know you can you make a normal bread and you don't get the holes and you wonder how do you get the holes in the bread. You know, when you get when you get a baguette, you got some holes in the baguette, and when you got <laughs> when you get your normal bread, you don't get you don't see holes in it. You don't see any aviola holes, so you wonder how do you get the holes. So uh, I'll be showing you that technique on how to get the aviola holes in ciabatta bread. Simple and easy. Nice technique. And I'll be showing you how to uh, bake the bread. Because when you're making your ciabatta bread, you don't need you don't need a baking tin or a baking pan to bake the bread. So I'll be showing you, like, you know, like when you make a sourdough bread, you have like a basket that you use to make this sourdough bread, like a container that you're making. But Chabata got the container. So I'm going to show you the technique and how we make it. So uh, it's a very easy technique. And, uh, so I'll be showing you how I make my Chabata bread. So now, uh, if you are just joining this um, lovely channel, uh, you know, this is Kuku Chef Francis, live on YouTube. And uh, I make live streams you know, every day, every two days, or whatever. Well, hey, there's another live stream coming up uh, in the next. Uh, What's the time now in the UK? Now the time is 12.26 in the UK. So I got in a, in two hours, uh, I'll be making a live stream in two hours. In two, in less than two hours, 30 minutes, I'll be making a live stream, a new live stream. That's another live stream. And that's going to be on um, how to make muffins. I will make muffins in the next two, three hours. And muffins is what everyone loves. Like you got the banana muffins, you got the blueberry muffins. So I'll be making the uh, I'll be making the banana and the blueberry muffins. That's nice. It's a nice combination. You're making the fruit muffin, like banana in the uh, you know when the banana melts and the and the blueberry melts in the muffins. You know, like muffin is a cake. So I'll be making the cupcake muffins, and I'll be. You know, adding blueberries and bananas, and you know, you know what I mean, like nice fruit, right in there, and it melts in the oven. It's nice, isn't it? So, uh, uh, 
that will be coming up in the next uh, <laughs> in the next two to three hours. I'll be making that one. You know, I love cooking, so I don't get tired of cooking. You know, what I mean, like when you're in the kitchen, you cook for ten hours. Before you stand in the kitchen for ten hours, you don't get tired. <laughs> So now <laughs> I'm gonna be making the uh, ciabatta. So I'll be checking that ciabatta in the next. We got 20 minutes more, so I'll be checking it. You know, every next 20 minutes I'll check it and see what's going on. So uh, now uh, I'm gonna explain what I did for those who just joined this uh, live stream. As I said earlier, this is uh, Cook with Chef Francis is live on YouTube. Making it real on live stream. You know, my friends told me to be making live streams. I'm making live streams, and you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's for real. Like, when, you, when you're cooking live, you're showing people what, what's going on, and no, no fast forward and all that. So, this is live stream cooking video, live stream cooking class. Of course, when you're making live streams, it's not easy, you know what I mean? When you're making live stream, it's, you know, you could mess it up, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, you, when you're making a video, you could do editing, like, you know, but this is a live stream, you know, I used to say, like, when you make movies, movies could take uh, so many years to make, and eventually you get something very unique and very nice, and, you know, when people are there watching movies, like, like, you're watching, uh, you know what I mean, like, it looks very interesting and everything, but, hey, you know, there would have, there would have been lots of error in the, mo in the, mo in the movie when, when they're shooting it, they make lots of reals and all that. So same thing when you're making you have when you're making the video and you're uploading on YouTube, then you do editing and all that. So but here, here when you're doing live streaming, you don't do editing and like when you're doing live streaming, you make a mistake, like the viewers will wonder like what's going on, like you're supposed to add five tips of views or whatever, or one tips of views, and you add a ten tips of views, and then the what you made was not actually what you what you feel. This is my seventh live stream, and if you check out my sixth live stream. They are all nice and perfect. There's no mistake. Check out my live stream. If you go to my channel, you know, check my channel, check my videos, check my uploads. You will see the first live stream, you know, was done on oatmeal raisin cookies. And if you check it out, you see that I made the cookies and it was perfect and no mistake. And you know what I mean? Like I, the recipes. If you check out my second live stream, that's on shortbread cookies, you know what I mean? Like that one was also very nice, no mistake on the shortbread. I made shortbread cookies, or you could call it shortbread biscuit with the wheat flour, and I made it out with the white plain flour. And they were all perfect, no mistake. So first one, first live stream, the first live stream was on, on what? On cookies, second live stream, on shortbread, and uh, my third live stream was, uh, was on Jenna. <laughs> I made some live stream, like Jenna sponge cake. And the next one, if you see the Jenna sponge cake came out very well. Next one, hot cross buns, very nice, came out very well. And, and the last live stream, what did I make? I made, uh, <laughs> hope I've not forgotten that. <laughs> So many live streams, so there's so many of them. So if you check it out, I'll be making very nice live streams and you know, you know what I mean, like nice live streams and you know, and this one today I'm making uh, the ciabatta bread with the white flour and ciabatta bread with the uh, the wheat flour. So uh, after this uh, live stream, I'll make another live stream, and the next live stream will be on uh, how to make the uh, um, um, banana muffins, the banana blueberry muffins. So I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna check check what's going on with my door because I don't know. I don't want to waste my my viewers time. So they want to see what's going on. And, they want me they want something perfect so, so uh, I'm gonna check the oven now and see what's going on you know I said my oven was not on it wasn't on my oven is just it's turned off 
so there's no hot in there, it's cold in there, so it's a little bit warm in there, but it's not in the spawn. So I always put my ears there because in the UK it's very cold here yeah, in the UK, but actually now it's not really cold. So it's cold in last week, or in winter, but you know, sometimes the weather changes. So I'm sorry today is not cold today, so I'll... Uh, if you put it in the oven, it's, it's warm, isn't it? But if you leave it on the table, it could be cool out there, isn't it? So, well, uh, if it was in the summertime, or if you work in the kitchen, it's very warm. If you keep your door on by any way, it's gonna double inside. You know what I mean, like, you know, but if you if you if you walk in the house and your house is cold, then you just need to hide in the cupboard or in, or in the oven. So let me check what's going on, and I'll show you the technique on how I make my chia butter bread. How I how I do it. We don't need it, but we want to get an aviola hole, so you know, we have a technique in doing that. So I'll check what's going on now. The wheat one is almost rising, but mm -hmm. the white one is almost, almost rising. I can see it, so I'll pop it back in the oven. And let's give it that extra time that we need for it to double in size. You know. Uh, you know, I'll also be using the. Uh, I'll go and get my clean tea towel now. I need a tea towel to do this. So, get a clean one. I'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, my friends, I'm back. So uh, I'm back now. And uh, I also need, I'll be using two tea towels because I'm making um, two chia butter bread. I also need, uh, I need like a peg. I need a peg. Yeah, that. I need pegs, so I got more pegs here, no worries, so no worries for that one, I got lots of pegs, so uh, now uh, we got like, we got like 11 minutes more, can you see that, we got like 11 minutes more, but in the next 10 minutes I'm gonna take my, um, my door and start showing you the techniques I always use in doing this, my techniques is like stretching and folding, you know what I mean, like you stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold, you don't need it, you stretch and fold. So uh, I'm gonna start that in the next uh, ten minutes. 
All right, straight and forward, straight and forward. But I could still check that before 10 minutes. You know, I could still check it before 10 minutes. You know, I see what's going on. Doesn't really matter. I could do it 20 minutes. Yeah, so let me see if I can do it for 20 minutes and go ahead with what I'm doing. So I could just pop that one there. It could still be working. You know what I mean? So I'll keep, I'll, I'll start with the white one. I'll start showing the technique for the white one and pop the uh, brown one there. So the brown one could be taken, uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it could still be proven like doubling the size. So now I'm gonna uh, need now. Yeah. So I uh, shouldn't have thrown that away. That means I'm gonna use another one again. Should have left that one. I already been it. So uh, I'm gonna show you something now. You can see uh, my dough is risen already. Can you see that? So uh, let's just leave it. I'll be right back to check. Just a second, please. Thank you. Back now, so um, I'm gonna love this. So I'm gonna be showing you the technique how to stretch and fold it. So I'm gonna start now. I clean. Let me wash my hand. So I got, I got, I got. Uh, you know, I'm not using flour. I got olive oil, so I'm gonna stretch it. Can you see? Look at my hand, not sticky. Can you see the dough? I'm stretching, stretch and fold. I don't know if you can see it. I have to come closer. Can you see? Stretch and fold, stretch and fold. So I'll stretch my dough. You know, you, you want to get the alveolar hole, so that's what I'm doing. Stretch and fold. You don't need it, isn't it? I'm just going to take this out to show you see what's going on. It's becoming big, isn't it? Stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. Can you see that? Stretch and fold. Stretch, fold. Stretch, fold. Stretch, fold. Stretch, fold. <laughs> the holes are already coming out now. The, the holes are coming out. Stretch, fold. Stretch and fold. So now, can you see that? I can see the holes now. Stretch and fold. So I, I'm gonna. 
cover this with the cling film again and put it back for 20 minutes. This is the first stretching and folding. I've done the first stretching and folding. No needing, you don't need to stretch and fold. This is the first time, so I'll put that straight in the one place. Yeah, so I'm gonna use a fresh clean for a new one. Yeah, but I will not do that anymore. I'll just be using the old one. I don't want to waste my time. <clears throat> yeah, so now clean thing down. There. My dough is already rising again. So I'll pop that in the oven. So I'll do the same method with the, the uh, other one, the brown flour. Stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, and 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 fold. Stretch and fold. Stretch, stretch, fold, stretch and 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 fold. Keep doing that. Hold that one back again. I'm gonna give it 20 minutes. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm back now. <laughs> you see, you see what I did. Stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. You don't need it. You don't need your chair butter. You just stretch and fold it, and you got your Avila horse right in there. It's easy technique, isn't it? Of course, you don't want your hand to be sticky. You want your hand to be oily. So I got some olive oil in there. So when I stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold, I got what I want. So. Uh, you know how many times I'm going to do that? You wait and see how many times I'm going to do that. 
So it's, it doesn't need to be patient. Like when you're making your normal bread, uh, the milk bread, the chocolate bread, your normal white bread, you know what I mean? Like when you're making it, like we don't stretch and fold, you just need it then, you know, and you leave it for like two hours, at least two hours or something to prove. You could do three proving or something. And you, you got you got your bread, but no Abiola holes in your bread, no Abiola holes, but you know it's nice, but you know it looks like a cake. But this one I'm making, you know what I mean? Like when you make the bread, you know, and you got some some holes right in there, like that's that's the unique uniqueness of that bread. You know, you, you got holes in there. So how does the holes happen? Like if you want to, like some people could make their own chia butter with little holes, with little alveolar holes, but someone, somebody else, another baker could make ciabatta bread with bigger holes. So it depends on how long you stretch and fold. If you stretch and fold for a longer time, you're gonna get more bigger holes. But if you stretch and fold for a smaller time, for, for, for a less time, you got less alveolar holes. So uh, that was the other time I said, but now I'm gonna set another, you know, I did I allowed it to prove for like 30 minutes, you know, and I stretch and fold. That's the first stretch and fold. So I'll be stretching and fold three times. You could do your own stretching and folding for more than three times if you want to, but I'm gonna be doing it for three times. Now my first time I allow the dough to double in size that was not stretching and folding it doubled in size for 30 minutes and the next thing I did was to stretch and fold so I stretch and fold my dough you know after it doubled in size after proving for 30 minutes so I've done the first stretching and folding so now I'm allowing it to prove again to double in size for 20 minutes after that after 20 minutes I will stretch and fold again and leave it to prove a doubling size for another 15 minutes. After that, I will stretch and fold again and leave it to double in size for another 15 minutes. And after that, I will put it on a tray. And you know, I got my, I'm going to show you another technique. I'm going to do a proving before baking. So I got, I got my tea towel. I always use my tea towel and my, and my, uh, I'll show you with my baking paper. It's complicated when you're doing ciabatta. You know, when you watch different videos and you see, you be wondering, did they do magic or something? And that's why it's good to watch it on live stream. It's a live stream cooking video and live stream cooking classes, live cooking stream cooking channel. But if, if I, if I make an upload, for example, I might fast forward and you don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? But if you're watching it live, you're going to see everything I'm doing bit by bit. So there's no rush in cooking. You know, when you teach someone how to cook in a cooking class, you know, rushing. Or if you're making an upload and you like, you know, five minutes up, you know what I mean? Like, it's only when someone already knows how to bake and know what's going on, and you watch a five minutes upload or ten minutes upload, you can understand. But, you know, but when you're watching a longer video, like this one I'm making a live stream, you will understand from start to finish because I give you the recipes and I'm explaining everything bit by bit and you see what I'm doing and I'm not in a rush and I'm taking my time step by step. So if you practice this the same way I did, of course, you're going to get it. You can try it and you see what I'm talking about and you know this is actually the chapata. You know, when you go out there, you eat chapata. Same taste, same uniqueness, everything same, nice bread. You know, and when you buy ciabatta bread, you see, you know what I mean, like same shape. You see the shape and everything. We we we, we don't need, we don't use uh you don't need to use uh the baking thing to to bake your bread your ciabatta bread. You don't need that. When you're making ciabatta bread, you use uh your tray. But this is a technique I'm gonna show you. I got my I got my I got my pegs. I'm gonna use pegs as well. That's my own technique, you know. It's my own technique of making ciabatta. Everyone has his own technique of making ciabatta bread. But this is my own uniqueness, my own technique of making ciabatta. It comes out very fine. And when you tap your bread, it sounds hollow. And, you know, when you're making artisan bread, ciabatta bread, country bread, 
you know, they sound hollow and you, you got the alveolar holes right in there. And when you slide in there, you enjoy them. You know what I mean? Like, you know, lovely bread. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a full vlog, so you know, you tell stories as well in full vlog. You know, when you watch a vlog, you know, they tell stories and all that. So, this is a cooking class. So, while I'm cooking, I need to entertain my viewers as well. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, you know, I'm not cooking now. You know, my, my bread is in the oven, but I need to say something like, you know, entertain my, <laughs> my viewers. <laughs> You know, cooking cooking live is not easy. You know, cooking live, you know, you know, even even if you can fry an egg, it's something. Cooking is very difficult. You know, it's not everyone that can cook. And you know, you know, you know I used to have a cousin who runs away when he was frying what back in my country. You want know, to fry egg, he runs away. You know, <laughs> when you hear the sound of the the veg for it flies like you want to fly or something, running away from the. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not easy, you know what I mean? Like cooking is not easy. So you know, so when you have passion for cooking, is you know, and you're dedicated someone, you know, you, you you find it easy for you. But most people it's very difficult for them. But you know, just need to take your time. It's something very nice, something interesting. If you if you make it a hobby or something, it's easy. Like if if I'm sleeping at night, someone wakes me up, come and make ciabatta bread. I'll quickly drop on from the bread from the bed and make your butter. I don't need to go look for a recipe and start. Oh, where's the recipe? Like, you know, where is the recipe? I start looking for it. No, I got my recipe right in there. So if I thought joining this live stream, this interesting live stream, this cooking channel, live stream cooking video, live stream cooking classes, come join Cook with Chef Francis here on YouTube. I'll be making another YouTube video, a YouTube live stream in the next two hours. I'll be starting that one in at 2 30. So I'll be making uh, banana muffins. I'm baking banana blueberry muffins. So that's gonna be nice. You know what I mean? Like like a cake in a cupcake. You know, like a cupcake, you know what I mean? With blueberries and bananas right in there. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> you know, when, when you put when you put when you put in the oven and it melts, you know, I I love I love it when. When, when blueberries melt and banana melts in the oven, when, you, when they melt, I really love it. Like they look gorgeous and sensational. I like, you know, when you're not putting your mouth, I, I love to eat. You know, to be sincere with my viewers, I love eating bread and cakes when they are really warm. I don't like to cool because when they are really warm, nice and warm and soft, you know, you feel it like, you know, like the blueberries when it's melting, like it's nice and warm. When you're eating it, like it looks nice, but when it's cold out there, you don't really like it. You know what I mean? Of course, you eat bread when it's cold, but you know what I mean? But when you eat a warm bread, like your chia butter, of course, you're going to like it. You know? not, not hot, but warm, nice and warm. You know, same with your scones, nice and warm. But of course, scones, you need to be warm when you eat scones, when it's cold, you're not going to enjoy it. So you can check out my scones uh, live stream as well. I made a lovely scone from start to finish, same shape. You know, you know, you, you got some scones when you watch they're like shapeless, you know what I mean? But... If you see my scones, it's really the nice English scones, same shape. When you go out there in the restaurant, you go to the stores, when you buy scones, you see the same shape I made. So always join this live stream. If you watch this live stream, you will get what you want. It's not an uploaded video. It's a live stream. And I teach, you know, the basics, the techniques, you know, expertise. You want to get expertise right here on this cooking channel. Please stay put, do not leave, always stay put to this cooking channel. Every day, live stream, every day, live stream. And you know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm cooking something for real, I'm not lying. So, let's go back to make our chia butter. So, I'm gonna make uh, the second stretch in a fold, and you're gonna see. I'm gonna start, you know, I said it's with versus the white one i'm making the whole wheat versus white flour so i want to grab my white chia butter bread now and stretch and fold i'll get that straight from the um, from the oven not on that's it it keeps rising and doubling in size and you see that 
growing bigger and bigger every day, every minute. Can you see that? I'll take off my uh, plain pin, set that up. My hand is dry, and in there, you got some olive oil stain there. So I'm going to stretch. Fold, stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, and fold, stretch, and fold, stretch, and fold. You see how it's moving? Stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. One more time. Stretch and fold. Back. The clean film put that back. I'll stretch the width one now. Back in the oven, not on. Now for the weight one, can you see that? Stretch and fold, 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 stretch Fold, stretch, and fold. Fold that back. Straighten the oven. Not on. Of course, when I say oven not all, you know what I mean. If I put it in the oven that is on, it's plastic, it's gonna melt, isn't it? <laughs> so now <laughs> I'm gonna explain what's going on now. Uh, you can see my friends, you can see what's going on. Yeah, you can see my friends that my uh, my ciabatta bread is nice, very nice. You can see that. And uh, I just showed you what, what, what I did. So I'm going to give it 15 minutes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Start. So uh, uh, now, if you check my bread, you will see I... Uh, stretch and fold the second time so i need to stretch and fold three times at least three times but i'll be doing my own three times because this is a live stream i don't want to waste your time so it's a live stream so i'll be stretching and folding three times so but if it was not a live stream i could i could stretch five times the more you stretch and fold the more you get your aviola hose and your trap at the bread is a no need bread, you don't need it on the table. If you need it on the table, you're gonna ruin it. And you know for sure when you ruin it, what happens? You're gonna it's gonna look like the normal white bread that we normally eat. You know the normal white bread, the normal wheat bread or whatever, the one we buy in the store, the wheat bread, the chocolate bread, the banana bread. It's gonna look that way. But we don't want it to look that way. We want it to look like a chair butter, like a baguette, you know, with the aviola hose. You know, focaccia, focaccia bread is so different. You see, focaccia has your uniqueness. You see, I did focaccia bread, my life, my my, my last live stream on focaccia bread. So I said, this is my seventh live stream. Let me see if I can still remember how many live streams I've made. The first live stream was on how to make cookies. Yeah, I can remember that. First live stream on cookies, that was two weeks ago. My second live stream, and I made cookies from start to finish that's the less than one hour video the upload was like 50 57 seconds or something yes yeah, so it's less than an hour you can go check it out i made cookies very nice cookies next upload 
Uh, I made my next live stream after the one uh, after the cookies one. I made shortbread biscuit, and that one I made I made shortbread biscuit with, with flour, and I made shortbread biscuit with white flour. You can check that one out as well. So many people love that one. You know, when I say biscuit, shortbread biscuit, you know, when it's shortbread, it's milky, isn't it? <laughs> you know, most people always ask, what's in there? Shortbread is milky. Because I, there's no milk in shortbread, but if you use milk, you're going gonna to ruin it. But your, your unsalted butter got milk in there. So that's why it's milky and nice and I mean. So I made shortbread biscuit with wheat flour and the one with the white flour. So wheat versus white for shortbread biscuit. That was my second live stream. And my third live stream was on how to make scones. So I made scones with uh, blueberries and uh, raisins, raisins and blueberries, and it came out very well. And that was a nice video as well. So you can check that one out on my live stream page or on my on my upload the scones video. Blueberry scones and raisin scones. And uh, that was my third live stream. My fourth live stream was um, how to make a genuine sponge cake. You know, I said a genuine sponge cake is uh, is very nice. It's also called, uh, 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 you know, it's from Italy, from Italy, the, from the city called the Genoa, G E N O A. So that 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 cake came from Italy, and it's very easy and simple to make. It's a sponge cake, and I demonstrated when I was making the live stream. I brought the sponge and I showed my viewers the sponge and the cake. I you know when you when you when you, when you press the sponge, it goes down and it comes up again. So you show the sponge, isn't it? So I did that to the cake and I pressed the cake down and it came up as well and it shows you a spongy. So that was my fourth live stream. So um, the fifth one was on how to make a uh, I uh, hope I've not forgotten that. I made focaccia. And again, the fifth one was allowed to make hot cross buns. And you know, the symbol of a cross, it shows, you know, the symbol of Christianity. And, you know, during the Lenten season as Christians, you know, in England, you know, it's, that's, that's an English food. You know, you know scones are also English. And uh, the hot cross buns is English. And it was invented by the English people, the, the hot cross buns. And you got the cross on it, and you see how I made the cross nice and you know perfect. Nice cross, nice hot cross bones. Well, spice is hot because of the spices right in there. I've got some cinnamon, and you've got some nutmeg in there. You could use your meat spice as well. So if you check out the video, the live stream, you're gonna see what I made from start to finish. Very nice hot cross bones. I made that one and the sixth live stream live stream was two days ago on the sixth live stream cooking video was from six, six days ago. Uh, sorry, two days ago. That was the sixth one and it was on how to make um, focaccia. And of course focaccia is a nice Italian bread as well. So it's, a, it's an Italian flat bread. So if you check out my video, I'll be making an uh, Italian uh, my, uh, my live stream I'm making. Uh, English and Italian dishes. So uh, very soon I'll move to French, into other parts of the country dishes on the live stream. And uh, I made the focaccia bread. I we see the one I made. It was, I think, is uh, the tomato and rosemary focaccia bread. That was a sixth live stream on how to make rosemary and focaccia bread. And you got I I use some plum cherry some cherry tones. You know, and if you check it out, you look like it looks very nice. And I got some rosemary there. Look how beautiful it is. Came out perfectly fine, nice and soft. You know, nice and sweet. You know. And uh, today is the seventh live stream. The eighth live stream is going to be coming up in one hour thirty minutes. So we'll be done in uh, in less than an hour now. We'll be done. So in one hour thirty minutes, we will be joining. You know, you can join me live, and we, we will be making um, blueberries and bananas muffins. Banana blueberry muffins, and I promise you that's going to be more interesting and more you know 
very nice, you know, you know, it's gonna be very nice, you know, how we doing that and of course it's gonna come out very nice. And I believe uh, you know for sure I believe it's gonna come out nice and perfect with this one I'm making now. So um that's for my live streams and uh, we need to go back to check out your button bread and see what makes you do. Uh, I'm gonna grab my uh, parchment paper now, my baking paper. You know, I need the baking paper to, to make this. I don't wanna put my bread on the tea towel, but of course I need the baking paper to make it not sticky, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna bake it with that same baking paper. So that's why you know, I'm making things easier for myself because you, know, you don't want to ruin your bread, you know what I mean? Like, if you ruin your bread, you ruin everything. So now, uh, I'm going to check my um, bread now. So, uh, I'm going to do the last uh, stretching and folding now. The last, so, I'm... Um, Working on the white one now. So I'm gonna dip my hand in olive oil. I'm gonna stretch for the last time the white flour chia butter. Stretch and fold, 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 stretch and fold. Stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. Look at that, lovely, isn't it? Stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. Okay. That looks nice, isn't it? Stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, and fold. So now I'm gonna clean film that. And put it in the oven for 10 minutes, not on. In the one place for 10 minutes. So, sorry for them sneezing. Yeah, make a fun of <clears throat> Now, uh, the, uh, the wheat one, I'll stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. Stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, fold, stretch, and fold. So I'll pop that one straight in the one place. Oh, just a second, please. I'll be right back. Thank you.
So um, this is the moment we are waiting for. Uh, I'll be breaking my bread. I'll show you the technique. Bread. So um, I need two trays. I need one tray for the uh, wheat flour, and I need one tray for the um, the white one. I need a parchment paper. So I need to pack in paper. So my friends, um, thanks for joining this live stream. As I said before, I'm making ciabatta bread with the wheat flour and the normal white flour. So I'm going to give you a recap before I start to bake my bread. If, because if you're not joining me, you need to know the recipe, isn't it? So now I got my olive oil. So you know what I did? From the beginning, from the very beginning, uh, I said this is a live stream cooking class and live stream cooking video. You know, so uh, I need to explain to my viewers what's going on. So now, as I said earlier on, this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it real here on YouTube. So now, um. Oh, it's a deep thing, so. So, um, today I'm making ciabatta bread from uh, the wheat flour and uh, the white flour. So, the recipes, what recipes I use? I used 500 grams of white flour. For the white flour and for the wheat flour, I use 100 grams as well, and I use half tablespoon of uh, yeast for both rice, as well as half tablespoon of sea salt on both of them, and I use a uh, half teaspoon of sugar. I use the caster sugar, the brown sugar, for both of them as well. And um, uh, I use um, 370 ml of warm water for both of them. So what did I do? And lastly, the ingredient, so the last ingredient was olive oil. I used 40 ml of olive oil. So what did I do? Uh, it's a no-need bread. You don't need your butter bread. So I was searching at food, but before then, I mixed my mixture. From the very beginning, what did I do? After I weighed my ingredient, I took a clean bowl, I added uh, warm water into the bowl, I added 370 ml of warm water into the bowl, and what next did I do? I, uh, <laughs> I added about 100 grams of plain white flour for the flour for the white flour one, and the other one I added. Uh, uh, about uh, uh, 100 grams as well from my flour, and I keep mixing it, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. I top it with more flour, added olive oil, added uh, sea salt, keep mixing, added sugar, keep mixing, finish up with the flour, and I got a soft little sticky dough, you know, a soft dough, but a little bit sticky, it's soft but a little bit sticky, not a hard dough, because you you want the alveolar holes to be out from the uh, from the bread, so you make it soft, you know, soft and nice and a little bit sticky. So what I did was to put it on the table. I added olive oil on the table. You don't need it. You don't need to need it. Just use um, your spatula. 
to move it around the olive oil and after that I put it straight back in the oil bowl cover it a light and double inside for at least 30 minutes brought it out stretch and fold in the bowl stretch and fold I did that three times so now I'll be taking it out for the last time and finish up my work yeah now I'll be starting with the white flower alone So now I want to work with this one, the white one. This is the white one. You can see the dough is out. Very nice. You see it's moving. So now, see what I'm going to do now. I'm going to... I don't need the olive oil anymore. So I'll put it back. I'll put it away. I don't need it anymore. I'll put that away. Now, this is my tray, so I'm going to take my uh, clean tea towel. I'm going to place that on the tray. And... Uh, I'm going to place this on the tray. This is a parchment paper straight on the tin towel. Next, I'm going to sprinkle some plain white flour on my parchment paper. Now, I'm going to transfer my dough straight on the parchment paper. Can you see that? Straight on the parchment paper. Now, I'm going to sprinkle flour on the, can you see that? I see. Nice and white. So I'm going to sprinkle flour on that one. Now, I'm going to grab my uh, pegs. So I'm going to fold this together. So you see what I did? Uh, this is the technique I was talking about. Because the, the, the dough 
is nice and soft and a little bit sticky so uh, after transferring that on the uh, on the parchment paper what i did was to like bring them together and take them so that when it doubles in size it's not gonna, it's not gonna be flat or getting bigger like getting wider but in this case it's still gonna rise it come back so i'll be baking it after you know after rising for like 20 minutes i'll bake it straight in the oven but let's give it 15 minutes to double size after 15 minutes i'll bake it straight in the oven so my friends stay put to this channel keep watching every day i'm gonna make the wheat one as well same way same process i'm gonna do it that same way this is the white one i'll prove it again to double size for at least 15 minutes so i'll continue with the other one the wheat chapata bread thank you very much <laughs> That's the wheat one, so I'll pop this one straight in the one place. Now, I don't need my white flour, so I'll set that aside. I don't need this. I'll put back in my cupboard. My cupboard. Now I'll be working on the uh, I put this away, I don't need it. Now this is my wheat one. Same thing. If I like, I can, I can still stretch it again, but I think that's all right. I don't need to stretch. So I'm gonna be using another tea towel. That's my baking paper. That's the second place. Yeah. So I'll sprinkle flour and that one. And I'm gonna pop that one. That way. Can you see how nice and soft it is? Sprinkle flour on that one. Put that away. So I'll sprinkle the little brown flour on it. The wheat flour. That's it, my friends. So same way. Same process. Quick last night. Quick last night. So, can you see that? I'll pop that straight in the oven, not on. Yeah. I'll put this away, I don't need that. 
I might still need the flower, so I'll keep that one. I might need this one as well, so I'm gonna clean my work surface now. I always stay clean, so I'll clean my work surface. That's my timer. I will write back my friends. Yeah, we need to give it some time to double in size. So let's give it like 10 minutes more. We'll check on it. Thank you.
Yeah, I'm back, my friends. Yeah. So, um, I got a message from. Uh, I will write back. The second. Peter says uh, yummy and tasty cooking class. Nice. That's a lovely one, isn't it? And I got a message from my wife. Lovely Chabata, thanks for showing us. Of course, she she's gonna eat it. <laughs> yeah. So now I really appreciate those who have commented on my live stream. And that live stream will be coming up in an hour time. It's gonna be lovely, isn't it? So now I'm gonna take out my bread and I'll bake it put it straight in the oven and it should be ready in, in less than 15 minutes the press can be ready so I'll take it out from the oven now check what's going on let's see what's going on while I'm taking this out from the oven I will preheat my oven now I got my bread here, so I'm going to put on my oven, I'll preheat it for, uh, I'll preheat my oven, I'll preheat my oven for at least uh, five minutes, and after five minutes, I will bake these two lovely ciabatta bread, the one from the wheat flour, the one from the white flour, straight in the oven for about 30 minutes. So we should be ending the live stream in the next 43 minutes. We're gonna use a three hours live stream video. So we got 42 minutes more to end this live stream. So now uh, I'll put on my oven now. I'll turn that on. So um, I'll put back my uh, I'll put that one up, that one is here, and that one stay down. That's it. Uh, now it's on gas mark, the fan mark, it's on fan, and um, the other one, this is on fan, and uh, I'll be putting that on um, 30 minutes, on 35 minutes, because it needs 5 minutes to preheat, and the remaining, uh, um, and the remaining 30 minutes to cook, you know. So, it's on fan, on gas fan mark, and um, on 35 minutes, you know, and it's on 90. That's all right. So now I'll leave that to heat, to preheat, and I'll put my bread straight in the oven. And that's it. So uh, now I'm going to show you what's going on now. So uh, I got my timer. So I'm going to put my timer for 30 minutes uh, when, 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 the, when I'm about to put it in the oven. So now I'm going to take off this. I don't need my peg. I'll take my peg off. I don't need that one. I don't need this. Take it off. Now, you need to be careful. We need to be careful when we're doing this. You can see, I'll show you what's going on now. You can see the dough is ready. It's moving. Can you see that? Yeah. Now I will take this out. I don't need this. So I put that away. I don't need my towel. Put that away. Now 
you can see my bread is nice and soft nice and soft and still has the uh, shape that i want so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to sprinkle more flour on the ciabatta white bread You know, when you buy ciabatta, you see some flour on it, like baguette and all that. You want the white flour on it. You want it dry, isn't it? You want the top to be dry. Because it's a sticky bread, so you need to put flour to make it non-sticky. <laughs> so I'm going to like put flour all, around, all over. Yeah, nice and soft. Nice and soft. Yeah, that's all right. Now I'm gonna pop this straight in the oven. My bread is ready. Can you see that? So look at that. Nice. So straight in the oven. I don't need it, so I'll put that away. Put it back in my cupboard. Now I'll put this to cook in the oven. I'll bake that for 35 minutes. So now I'll put my timer for 30 minutes, rather. 30 minutes. Yeah, that's 20, 25, 30, starts now. Straight in the oven. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to the next one. I'll take that off, take that off, take that off. This is the one with the wheat flour. Can you see? The one with the wheat flour. Now, I'll grab some wheat flour, sprinkle that one on that one. So I'll put that one all over. Now I'll bake that straight in the oven. Straight in the oven. I see that lovely. Straight in the oven. Yeah. That's it, my friends. So I'll put that away. I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to clean my work surface now. I'll be right back, my friends. Thank you.
Yeah, I'm back, my friends. Yeah. Back to my live stream. You know, uh, this is a, a live stream cooking channel, as I said before. Live stream cooking video and uh, live stream cooking classes. So uh, I got 23 minutes more. Can you see that? 23 minutes more. <clears throat> so um, <laughs> I can't wait to have my ciabatta bread because uh, ciabatta is very nice. So it's it's a lovely bread you can have for breakfast or any time of the day you can have your chocolate bread it's very nice so uh, and of course when you go out there to the store to get your chia butter you know what i mean like you want to get a lot of, like it's a small loaf of chia butter like a baby one you know a baby chia butter not the one i'm making the one i'm making is uh the one i'm making now you're gonna get that one for for three pounds that one is for three pounds. That's that's the massive jam that I bread for three pounds. You know, three quid. But if you got you want a baby one, you can get a baby one for one point um, two five or one point five quid. You know, that's a lot of money, you know what I mean? Like big money, isn't it? But this one I'm making is three pounds chabata bread. So if you know how to make your chabata, why not? Why not make it so? Um, I said today um, I'm making two live stream. The next live stream <coughs> will be coming up in what's the time now? This is uh, 150. So my next live stream will be coming up 230. But hey, we could be 
it could be 15 minutes late, maybe 2.45 because the first one is about to finish. So it could be a delay in that one. It's the, the, uh, the actual time for the next live stream to start is uh, 2.30. But we could just move it to our uh, live. I'll be live before 2.45 anyway. I'll be live before 2.45. That one will be a short one. It's not going to be long because we're making... It's going to be less than two hours or something. So that one is... Uh, We'll be making banana muffins and muffins are very easy to make is a quick one. Banana and blueberry muffins what I'm gonna be making. So it's gonna be a quick one. Yeah, but you know when you're making bread, it takes longer time. No one rushes making bread. When you're making bread, you don't rush it, isn't it? This is a live stream and we want we want to make something very perfect, something nice and you know something nice and great for someone, you know, to, to enjoy. You know what I mean? Like something great. So now I'll be showing you, I'll be telling you what I did earlier on. Our bread is baking in the oven now. And we cannot wait to have this. So I'm gonna show you the aviola holes after baking. Uh, of course I need my pastry knife. So let me grab my knife bag. My knife wallet. Got my knife wallet. Uh, I need a... Uh, I need a pastry knife for my uh, to to slice my bread. In that sharp enough, I don't need to sharpen my knife. I need it. So uh, what else do I need? I just need my pastry knife. and see. So I put that one. I put that one back. I need that one back. I need my cook knife. That's my pastry knife. So. Uh, I put my knife wallet away. I put my knife wallet away. Now I'm gonna have 90 minutes more. So I think I need a skewer as well. I'm gonna grab a skewer to set my pastry knife aside. I need a skewer like a stick. Uh, it's already, uh, I can perceive the aroma, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a lovely aroma from the oven now, um, I can perceive it, so it shows our bread is almost cooking and it's almost ready. I need a skewer to check if it's ready, so let me see what's going on first. I can look through the glass. Yeah, I love what's going on. The, the, the bread is cooking and it's, it's becoming nice. I can see the aroma. You know, when you're in the kitchen and you're cooking, and like, or maybe, you know, you know what I mean? Like, when the family members are around and something's going on, and you start placing the aroma. You know, yeah, you know, you know there's a bakery somewhere, you know, something is cooking. And, you know, but when there's no aroma, you know, there's nothing going on. And, <laughs> but when you, when, you, when you perceive aroma, you know, oh, there's something going on, someone is cooking, someone is baking. Especially when someone is baking, the place is the, 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 the bakery smells very nice, you know, nice aroma from the bakery. So baking is good. It's a healthy way of cooking. Baking is a healthy way of cooking. So uh, it's up to you what you want to put in your, your, your pastry. You know. Or you can make healthy pastries. Like today I'm making healthy pastry. I'm making chapata bread. Chapata is healthy bread. It's not fatty. It's a healthy bread. You know. You know, it's like a stone bread, you know, stone bread, they are very healthy and nice. No sugar in them. You know, the sugar added, you, you might not put sugar, it's not compulsory to put sugar. Only added half teaspoon of sugar in my chapata bread. And the half teaspoon of sugar added is not the white sugar, added what caster sugar. I like caster sugar. Caster sugar is very nice. You know what I mean? When you make caster sugar, you add caster sugar to something. Cane sugar, unrefined cane sugar. Unrefined cane sugar is what I added into my bread. And it came out very fine. So now, I'm going to give you a recap of what I did because our bread will be ready in 16 minutes. 
It could be ready in less than 15 minutes. It could be ready in 10 minutes. I'm going to check it in 10 minutes and see what's going on. And I'm, in 10 minutes, you know, if you're a chef or a pastry chef or whatever, and you're used to baking, you, you don't need to be in a hurry to go check what's going on in your oven. You already have time and you know when you're going to be ready. So what I normally do, when it's almost ready, I already know, I started to see the aroma. It comes out very nice. So I'll just quickly go and check if it comes out clean and give it another minute if it doesn't come out clean. But if it comes out clean, I'm going to take it straight out from the oven. I'll remove it from the oven and that's it. But if uh, someone is too inquisitive as a baker, he or she's going to ruin it. Because when, for example, if I'm too inquisitive and I go check my, my bread, every five minutes you know i want to know what's going on and i open my oven all the time if i do that by opening my oven all the time you know what's going to happen what's going to happen uh my bread is not going to rise if it's my cake it's going to fall flat and it's going to be ruined and if it's my bread same thing it's going to fall flat it's going to be ruined it's not going to rise it's not going to double in size if you add a baking powder, the baking powder won't work. If you add a yeast, the yeast won't work anymore. And it's going to be ruined and it's going to be messed up. But if, for example, I follow the rules and regulations as a chef, and I don't, I'm not inquisitive to open my oven all the time, I'm going to get something perfect, you know what I mean? Like something gorgeous, something nice, something absolutely, you know, lovely, you know? <laughs> so that's why you see I'm not inquisitive because I bake all the time and I know when my food is going to be ready. So I'm not too inquisitive to go check what's going on. Like, open every five minutes, every ten minutes or whatever. I put it straight in the oven from the very beginning and I give it some time, I have timings. I time my oven. And when it's almost ready, if I check it, it's safe to check. Just note this as a baker, if you want to check your oven, make sure it's safe time to check it. Safe time to check it means when the product is almost ready. For example, when your cake is almost ready, you can check it. When the bread is almost ready, we can check it. We can when it's ready or almost ready. But if it's not ready and it's like even not up to half cooked or whatever, like just after five minutes or ten minutes and I quickly go check it. And it's something that involves maybe it needs about 30 minutes to bake, and you go check in 10 minutes, it's not good. But if it needs 30 minutes to bake, if you check in 25 minutes, or 22 minutes, or 21 minutes, or 20 minutes, that's absolutely fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost ready then, and it's safe to check. So by that time, the, uh, the, um, the, the baking powder is just fine. It's ready to walk in the yeast is already you know working and all that. So now I can perceive the aroma from the uh, from the bread, but my viewers from the live stream might not be able to perceive the aroma because you know they're not here with me in the kitchen. But anyway, when they are making their own, they're gonna perceive the aroma, they perceive it, and of course, you know, they perceive the aroma and, and they know when it's ready. So Thank you, my friends, for joining me live on YouTube. Thank you for watching my channel. So uh, I'm still waiting for my bread to be ready. We got 20 minutes more to end this live stream. So, and uh, my bread is almost ready. So I believe we're going to end it in 20 minutes more. It's, it's three hours uh, for the vlog. I said this is a live stream cooking class. This is 2 o'clock now. So. Um, next live stream will be coming up in. Uh, it's there at two o'clock. I don't. It's, it's there at two thirty. But I don't want to change the time. So I'll be coming up live at two forty-five. So just stay put to this channel. I could come up live earlier. Or 
touch notes are we are we live you know so stay put and see how our beds can come up uh before i slice my bread i'm gonna say something again i'm gonna bring out something out from the oven and what i'm gonna bring out is two types of bread it's same name chia butter but one with wheat flour and one with white flour so i can it's safe now for me to check you know i said 30 minutes time it's 11 minutes now so i could check in 20 minutes i can proceed the area so let me check what's going on there. You know, there's flour on it, and you feel the flour is almost burning or something, so you know you're almost ready. So let me go check what's going on now. Check the oven now. Thank you. So, just a quick one. I just want to quickly check what's going on. Yeah. I'll be fast. It's still cooking, it's not ready. So it's not safe to, to do that, but I just want to show my viewers. I was very quick because if I waste time, the bread is going to fall off. Can you see how nice it is? It's not yet brown on top, but you see it's almost ready. I'll show you something like you see it's sticky. Can you see it's sticky? But not really sticky, it's almost ready. So, but you can see the bread growing and growing and growing and growing. Yeah. So now, we got exactly 30 minutes. It's going to be ready in 9 minutes. Exactly the time, 30 minutes. So, uh, we don't, we don't want to be in a rush. Yeah, that's at 190. We don't want to be in a rush. We want something absolutely gorgeous or absolutely perfect, isn't it? So um, that's what we want. Of course, my friend, she saw that lovely bread when I brought it out from the oven. That was a quick one. You know, I was very quick to put it back straight in the oven. If I was wasting time, the bread will fall. So but I was very quick to put it back. I just want to show what's going on. But if I was if I was baking, I was not showing anyone, I will not go, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just leave it in around, you know, in when it's almost ready, I'll just quickly check it with my skewer. But I just want to show you what's going on. And when I started my skewer, you saw the bread was not ready. It was a little bit sticky and um, you know, it was a little bit sticky, a little bit sticky, and uh, it wasn't non-sticky, isn't it? And it wasn't ready, but almost ready. And you can see the beautiful flour coated around the bread. You know, when you're making stone bread or strong bread or whatever, like baguette, shabata, you, you, you add some nice flour on it, or like sourdough bread, you like, you coat it with flour, you top with flour, you know, you want to give it a nice beauty, you know what I mean, like, you know, like a snow on it or something. So, uh, that's why we're doing that, uh, you know, it's very nice, like, it gives you a nice color, nice look and all that. So, if you see that bread, you will see that bread looks very nice and lovely. <laughs> so, now... We got seven minutes more for the bread to be ready. We're gonna end this live stream in 15 minutes. I'm not gonna allow my bread to, to, to cool down before I slide it because I want my viewers to see what's going on. I can allow it to cool for maybe two minutes, but all my all my viewers to see. And I don't want to waste time. So um, for the last time, 
I'll be explaining again because you know when you're making a live stream, um, the viewers they come in and they go, they go and come, they go and come, they go and come. Some might not be joining in, and some might be leaving and coming back again, and they might be missing an important uh, thing on the live stream. Yeah, they could be at work or something or whatever. Some could be watching at work and they go back again with long break or something. Yeah, so now I'll be I'll be saying the last thing uh, about the recipe or something. So now my friends for the last time I'll be saying the recipe. How I made it, the method, then uh, in five minutes, I will take my bed out of the oven, I will remove from the oven, and probably slice in two minutes. So, if you are just joining this live stream, this is Coco Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it real. This is a live video, and it's not easy to make a live video, we all know that. But because we don't do reality when making a live video. No editing. This is a live stream. And of course, if I'm making something not perfect, my viewers will know. But if I make it something very perfect, they will, they will say yes, very nice. Man. He gets it right, you know, and he's not making something. You know. For example, I'm telling my viewers I want to make chapata today, and eventually I made meat bread. That's not good, isn't it? So now it's for real. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna tell you the recipes how I started it and how I'm gonna end it. I got four minutes more to bring down my bread from the oven. So now the recipes for the um, the if you have your daughter you can write it down now because my bread will be ready soon I'm gonna take it out from the oven. You can write down the recipes if you have a daughter and a pen. Um for the wholemeal chapata bread, I use that the wheat one. I use 500 grams of wheat flour, one tablespoon of yeast, half tablespoon of sea salt. Half tablespoon of yeast, half teaspoon of sugar, 40 milliliters of oil, or 40 grams of olive oil, and 370 grams or 370 milliliters of warm water. I use my probe, my thermometer, to check the temperature of my water at about 33 degrees. That's perfectly fine. Uh, that recipe is same for the white one as well. It's just for the white one, you use white flour. Okay, gosh. Method, how did I make it? I got two minutes more. I took a bowl and I added my um, warm water straight into the bowl. Added my yeast, mix it up, added some flour, about 100 grams of flour. Keep mixing. I still I kept adding the flour in bits and I added olive oil, sugar, sea sauce, and I kept adding the many flour, I kept mixing it. And after mixing, I I got a uh, soft and sticky dough, but it needs to be sticky. And I applied olive oil on my work surface and I transferred the dough straight on the work surface and I used a spatula. To move it around because there's no need break, you don't need it. Move it around, and when, I, when I'm done with that, I put this back in an oil bowl, cover with a clean thing, and I put it in an overnight oven for 30 minutes in one place. After 30 minutes, 
I got it out from the one place and I stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold, stretch and fold. You can watch the re replay of this live stream so that you see what I'm talking about. Stretch and fold, cover with a clean film, put it back in the one place. I did that for three times. You can get that for three times. You can repeat those for at least three times. So um, after that, my my my, my brush should be ready because you almost switch off automatically after seven or thirty minutes. So this all will be in one minute. I'm gonna take it out from there. It should be ready now. So uh, straight and full, straight and full. Repeated that three times. Uh, eventually, I got my. Uh, this paper, place it on the tea towel, the flower on the dish paper, put the dough on it, and you know, peg everything and allow it to prove again. And when I'm done, I remove the oven glove or tea towel, I remove it and apply flour on the on the resin dough, the double dough, and uh, bake for 30 minutes. I present my oven for five minutes, set it at uh, 190 degrees centigrade. You can set it for 200 degrees centigrade, that's fine. 190, 200, that's from the job I um, And it's so much ready now. So I'm going to take it out from the oven now. Um, I got 12 seconds more. So I'm going to take my bread out from the oven. I believe it should be ready now. If it's not ready, I'm going to give it a more minute, but I believe it's ready. So I'm going to slide my bread and show you the available holes in the bread. Thank you. That's ready now. So I'm going to take it out of Thanks for your patience. Thank you for, for watching. Let me see if it is ready. It, sh it should be ready. It should be. Yeah, it's ready now. Ready now, so uh, it's ready now. So I'm gonna bring it up in. It's it's non sticky, so it's ready. So I'm gonna bring it out in two minutes. Yeah. So. I'm going to bring it out in two minutes. So while I'm waiting to bring it out, I'm going to set my, uh, I need, I need uh, a chopping board and I got my pastry knife already. So that's my pastry knife. That's right. I'm going to my pastry knife. That's my pastry knife to slice my bread. I don't need the timer anymore, so I'm going to put that away. Bring up my bread now. Yeah. Now I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna start with the uh, white one now before the wheat one. So I'm gonna take out my bread from the oven. I'm gonna grab my uh, white chapata bread now. Look at that, my friends. Looks very nice, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely. So, uh, <laughs> that looks absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And very massive. I said this was going to be three pound bread. So, I'm going to insert that. See, it came out clean. And it sounds hollow, isn't it? See, it sounds hollow. So now I'm gonna take out the flour from the bread. I'm gonna use this to take out the flour. Because we just want a little flour on the bread. So I take the flour out from the bread.
and see this is lovely bread isn't it it looks absolutely lovely the lovely bread And you see what I'm doing? I'm taking out the flour from the lovely bread. It looks very lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely sensational. Yum yum. Smells very nice, smells great. Isn't it? Now I'm gonna put that on the wire rack to cool. Look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Put that on the wire rack. Lovely bread. Nice. Pop that in the bin. I don't need that. I'll put this away. Now I'll set this aside. I will get the other one. Do the same to it. This is the one with the whole meal flour. This is absolutely hot, so I need to be very careful with it. Yeah, put that right there. So now I'm going to do the same thing to that one. I'm going to take out the flour from it. It came out clean. It's ready, isn't it? It's ready. This is the wheat one. The uh, one with wheat flour. Very healthy, isn't it? Take out the flour. It sounds hollow, isn't it? Can you hear that? It sounds hollow. Like a hole in it. Can you see the shape? Very nice. It's an artisan bread. Can you see? Lovely bread. No need for baking pan. You don't need a bread pan for it. You don't need a bread pan. This is a very nice bread, isn't it? looks absolutely gorgeous absolutely sensational look at that lovely bread mm. yummy mm. can't wait to have this very nice very nice bread nice and sweet so now I'll pop that. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that, my friends. Nice and hot. Lovely bread. Lovely. Lovely bread. So I see that I'm gonna pop that on the wire rack 
to who would have a whale Yeah, now I will put this away. I don't need this one. Put that away. And uh, put it down. So, um, so our bread is ready now. I'm going to slice the bread. I'm gonna grab my uh, my knife now. So uh, I'm gonna show you the avila holes on this bread. So you see. Can you see the holes right in there? That's the umbrella hole we're talking about. If you do your own more, you will see the umbrella holes. Can you see them? They are there. Look at the holes. So when I take a photo, I will take a photo and use for my thumbnail. So after after the upload, you're gonna see the the umbrella holes in the break. But if you check the other term thumbnail, you see the umbrella holes. You might not be able to see very clearly, but that's the horse. Can you see that? And it smells like chia butter bread. So I'm gonna give it a nice gonna slice me. So I will set that aside because look at it, look at the steam from the bread. We need to allow it to cool. So uh, that one is there. So I'm gonna do the one for the wheat. Same, you can see the avula holes right in there. You can see the holes and it sounds hollow when you tap. It sounds hollow. So you allow it to cool down. So So now I'm gonna fry my bread. So my friends, the bread is ready. So I'm gonna try the wheat one and I'm gonna try the white one. So white versus brown. So let me see the difference. Let me see what's going on. So now I'm gonna try it. You know, I'll tell you what I'm feeling in the brain. This is I don't want to see anything. If I was in the meal bank, you know, the meal bank in South Korea, um, you know, invented by the South Korea, the meal bank, where you eat lots of food, I would have finished this bread, the two of them right now, like a meal bank. But I 
can feel the olive oil, I can feel the salt, I can feel the um, the flavor right in there, the olive oil is there, the salt, and a little sugar, just half teaspoon, very nice, very nice bread. And the flour coated around it gives it a nice flavor and aroma in it. Then I'm gonna try this one, the brown one. <laughs> of course, when you are eating the wheat bread, you know what I mean. Right? By right, eating real wheat, I can't see anything anymore. But please, after watching this video, if you have time, try my recipes, try how I did it. You're gonna get the probably fine, and you're gonna enjoy this bread for breakfast, for lunch, or whatever any time of the day. This is absolutely nice. Thank you all for watching. Stay put on my next live stream in 30 minutes. Bye for now. You can watch the replay later. The replay of this video should be out in less than 24 hours. Of course, it could be in five hours, it could be in two hours. Because after I end the live stream, YouTube will allow you to upload like a new video. So you might not see it on my upload but if you check my playlist you can re-watch it you can watch the replay on my playlist it should be on the bread playlist now if i end the live stream you will see it on my bread playlist but if you want to wait to watch the replay later when i made this bread you can also watch it on my upload when it's being uploaded by youtube or if you check my bread playlist you can find it check my playlist watch my videos play them Play my videos every day, watch them in the interesting and um, in the entertaining and um, you know they you know full of inspiration as well. It's, you know, after making this kind of bread, you know what I mean? Like two types of bread, same bread, it meat and like that. That's it, my friends. Thank you very much. I love you all. Ciao. Stay tuned for my next live stream in 30 minutes. See you in 30 minutes. Bye bye for now. I still remain Francis by name. This is Kukushia Francis. Bye bye. Bye bye.